Good morning, this is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor. I haven't been on for a couple of days, well, many days, doing my podcast, but I'm doing it this morning because I'm pissed off. On two things, I'm pissed off. I don't know if you watched the congressional hearing yesterday of the Oversight Committee, and there was Marjorie Taylor Greene, there was AOC, and then there was two other Members, female members of Congress there. They got into a catfight. It was an ugly catfight. It was a unprofessional, unethical type of catfight with name calling and everybody wanting apologies. It, it looked stupid. It made a good argument to replace all of Congress with artificial intelligence. Because obviously, we don't have any intelligence there at the moment. So we might as well just go ahead and do artificial intelligence. But they really pissed me off because of the way they acted. It looked like they were small children out on the playground. Bullies of two different teams trying to beat each other up. Not accomplishing anything for the people that they represent. Instead, it was pure catfight. Now, if we want to call it entertaining, we can call it entertaining, but I didn't find it entertaining at all because we had women who were supposed to be representing their constituents acting like bad girls, bullies, or bullets. I don't know what you call a female bully, but bullet. It was it was really, really sad to watch. If you look at Twitter today, or X, I mean, I mean X, yeah, X. It's all over there, and they're replaying it over and over and over again. And maybe they should just to remind us of who is representing us in Congress. I've often said we have taxation without representation because we have no one representing the people of the United States. Instead, they're there with their own egos. They're there to get power. They're there to make money off the gig in Congress. And we have no representation. And that's what we saw yesterday in those congressional hearings, in that congressional hearing of little children boxing it out in the playground. Honestly, they should not be in Congress. Republican and both Democrat, both. They should not be in Congress if they are going to act in such a low-class decorum in Congress. I mean, it's really, really upsetting to watch. Go to X, you'll see it over and over and over. They're playing it. Everybody's running that clip of what happened in Congress yesterday. My goodness. It really, it truly did make the argument that maybe we need just artificial intelligence to run this nation because we have idiots right now saying that they're representing us, but not representing us. Now, my other gripe today, and I've talked to you about this before, of customer service. Okay, so I broke my glasses several months ago. And so I finally had the chance to go in and get my eyes tested and to order a new pair of glasses. This time I did my glass purchase online. And... I'm upset because when you go to their customer service online, what you get is artificial intelligence. (laughs) That's what you get is artificial intelligence. I paid extra to get my glasses done within three to five business days. I placed the order on Saturday and went in to review on Monday and Tuesday. and, And then finally on Wednesday, it went into production So we're now in the sixth day of this. And I'm now just told through this artificial intelligence bot (laughs) that, oh no, that money that you spent to get the glasses to you in three to five days does not include production time. Now, production time may be a week. Now, I paid extra to get it to me in three to five days, but they didn't tell me it did not include the production time. 
And so I'm really upset because I really do need these glasses. I'm using an old pair of prescription sunglasses because I, I, I broke my, my uh, real glasses. The one that I use for work every day. And now I have to wait and wait and wait. And this artificial intelligence just keeps coming back with the same, same notice. It says, please note, the estimated shipping time does not include processing and production time. Please refer to our website below for estimated timelines. Now, when I purchased it, it did not refer me to any estimated timelines or production or anything else. I know I went back and looked at it this morning. Just so I paid extra for this. It didn't help me. I'm still in the same boat as people who didn't pay for it. Now, I could have gone to another a mall in the mall and go to there, and I would have gotten it within a week. I would have gotten my glasses back in a week. Now I'm past a week, and I feel as though that one, the company was not clear enough to. I'm not even going to tell you the, who the company is, but I, I'm I'm upset with them because I do not feel that they gave me as a customer, as a consumer of their goods, a fair enough and a clear enough warning that said, "Oh, it does not include production time or processing time." Artificial intelligence is, is I use artificial intelligence a lot when I'm researching something. But when you're using it for customer service, you are not addressing the needs of the client or the needs of the consumer at all. Because it's all just generated words. It's nothing about what the concerns are. It's nothing about timelines. It's nothing like that. I just asked the AI customer service person, <laughs> well, computer, when I will get it. And it came back, good news, your glasses are in production. You should ship within six business days. I've already in six days now. Now I'm going into 12 days. My goodness. So listen, before you guys consider especially in big business, if you have a customer service hotline, get rid of that AI because it's doing the consumer no good whatsoever. I know you're saving money. You're not having to hire customer service agents. But listen, the consumers need to know that there's some place that they can go to when they purchase a product from you that they're going to get answers. Not just these squiggly lines and and recorded messages and everything else it does not cut it it just does not cut it so down below it says call us <laughs> but they have no phone number to call <laughs> uh, i can laugh at this now just as long as i get my glasses and i can see again because as an accountant and as a mediator i read a lot and these sunglasses just are not cutting it anymore. In fact, I'm getting headaches from it. I need my glasses. I need my bifocals. <laughs> I'm old. Anyway, that's it for today. Everybody go out and have a great day. It's Friday. God bless you. Look for the weekend. Spend some time with friends. Call them up and get a cup of coffee and sit down and talk about good times. Talk with you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.